Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Able Life Insider Tips. Recently I was asked if there's a possibility to have um, multiple template sets. As you probably already know, in life there's a chance to create your own default preset. Is so basically you just um, create a set the way you would want it when you create uh, create a new set is clicked, and um, then you can save that current set as the default, and then this would be opened over and over. But of course, this way you can only have one default set, and um, there's a workaround for this if you need to have several because you know we all do different things. We might play in bands and then do things on our own and then we want different sets when we're jamming or when we're producing for example and um, for all of these things we can have different standard uh, standards so default sets the way to do this is to uh, use the lib user library and uh, this was actually a tip by the sonic bloom reader michael delizio and what we can do is we create a new folder in the user library and we just call it default life sets. And next up we need to create our first default default life set that we want. I'm simply gonna create a one with four audio tracks as if I was doing the good old four track thing from the olden days and then I'm gonna switch that simple delay with a ping pong delay perhaps and then on the master I would like to add a spectrum because I always have a spectrum on that I find it helpful when I'm mixing, for example. And yeah, just so you get an idea. So basically you can get at any tracks you want. You can add any MIDI instruments, audio and MIDI effects on all the tracks. Um, as many you know, MIDI audio tracks and return tracks as you need, or as the limit is. Um, you could even add clips already, you know. So, um, whatever you want, I'm just gonna say like, this is my first default life set that I want. So, what we have to do now that we're happy with it is save it, and we have to save it in this default life sets folder. So, I'm gonna. If you don't know where that folder is located, you can simply go to Preferences, Library, and then here under Location of User Library, you can see the file path. Right. So, time to save it. So, I'm going to have to go Madeline, Music, Ableton, user library and here we've got the default life sets folder and then choose a name we're just going to call that four track audio press save and we can see it showing up here and i'm quickly going to create a new life set so you can see the difference and now if you double click on this track then you see the life set we just Recre uh, recreated, recreated with everything in it. And of course you could do this as many times as you like. You can just create as many default life sets uh, as you see fit and just save them all in this default life sets folder and then you only have to do a double click on those to create a new life set of your choosing. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net.